When entering the patient zone, hands must be decontaminated before each episode of patient care. Liquid soap or hand gel should be used. At the sink, paper hand towels should be used to thoroughly dry your hands and carefully disposed of into a waste bin. Practitioners should give patients a reassuring detailed explanation of the insertion procedure. Verify the patient's details by checking the notes and ID bracelet and check for any allergies. It is beneficial to agree a signal that the patient can use if the procedure becomes unpleasant and if they wish it to stop. Ensure the patient knows exactly what the procedure entails. After washing hands, prepare a dressing trolley and ensure all surfaces are clinically clean. Assemble all the necessary equipment for NG tube insertion, checking packaging and expiry dates. The following items are required. Kidney bowl Dressing pack NG tube A bio bag pH indicator strips Lubricant A catheter tip syringe Positioning is crucial for this procedure. Position the patient so they are sitting up or semi-recumbent. The head should be in the midline position, the head being flexed slightly forward and supported with a pillow. This process is routinely performed as a clean procedure and requires infection control precautions. Open a dressing pack and carefully arrange the necessary equipment. This will include an NG tube and a 50ml syringe. Remember to have a sick bowl handy for the patient. It's important at this time to be organised so that the procedure goes smoothly and without interruption. Carefully place some gauze into the kidney tray, then apply some lubricant gel to aid tube insertion. Ask the patient to clean their nose in order to assess the patency of the nostrils. Patients can gag when the tube reaches the pharynx, so have some water at hand. Identify the most suitable nostril through which to pass the tube. When preparing the patient, it's important to choose the wider nostril. Prior to insertion, the practitioner should decontaminate hands and don a disposable apron and nitrile gloves. Measure the size of the tube, from the earlobe to the nostril to the ziphoid process. This will give you a rough idea of the required length and ensure you note the appropriate marker on the tube. Lubricate the distal end of the tube to aid insertion. Insert the tube along the floor of the nasal passage. The patient at this time may need to swallow some water which will help direct the tube into the esophagus. Insert the tube in a horizontal plane until the predetermined marker is reached. Then secure the tubing according to your organization's policy. Use adhesive tapes and they will ensure that the tube is stable and not removed. Confirm tube placement by aspirating from the tube with a large volume syringe and test the aspirate with pH indicator strips to confirm tube position. Next, connect the tube to the drainage bag to allow drainage of any gastric contents. It's important to dispose of all waste properly into the correct waste bag. Dispose of gloves, then apron, in that order. And dispose of clinical waste in accordance with local guidelines. Decontaminate hands on leaving the patient zone. And the position of the tube must be confirmed and documented in the patient's notes.